We're checking in with St. Catharines Mayor Walter Zenzik this morning for reaction on today's news that things could soon start to return to normal at a lot of businesses. Good morning. Good morning, Annette, and we're looking forward to an announcement from the province today, especially when it comes to gyms and restaurants. And it's something that a lot of mayors across Ontario have been advocating for because we couldn't get a, a sense of why you can go into something like the Meridian Centre with 5,000 people starting last Saturday, but yet you couldn't go into a restaurant, which is they've done all of the safety controls and or and even in the gyms as well. So it, I'm hoping this announcement today will level the playing field. Mm -hmm. Things coming back to normal again, because had you heard a lot from businesses like businesses that were really hurting because, you know, with the, the vaccine mandate that they had to do, it's it, it's been tough. They couldn't understand why they were not allowed to be at capacity when you can only get into a gym or you can only get into a restaurant with a full vaccine certificate and with contact tracing, whereas, you know, you, you can go to the Meridian Center, or you can go to a, a performing center and you're not gonna have that contact tracing as, as closely as you'd get from a gym or a restaurant. So it was hard for those businesses to understand why are they being held back. It's been a tough 20, 20 plus months for these businesses. We're hoping that with today's announcement, they'll have a long runway, get people back to working out, get people back to full capacity so that we can enjoy the restaurants and let's get back to a new reality. Mm -hmm. Um, have you heard any more about the uh, investigation into the uh, the vandalism of the uh, Harriet, Harriet Tubman statue on the weekend? Yeah, very, very disturbing for our community. And what we've known from the NRP is that this person was uh, going through a significant trauma and, um, and affected by other things. It, they're saying it wasn't a, a hate attack. And so... You know, it's for us. It's about getting that 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 statue reinstated. It's working with the BME Church. Natasha Bell has a GoFundMe page that she set up. So anybody in the community who wants to help, make sure that Harriet Tubman gets placed back on that pedestal. It's a national historic site, and honestly, Annette, we do have work in our community when it comes to opioids and addictions, and so. This is an example of what happens when you know these these kind of incidences occur. This location is close to our downtown, and so we're working with the BME Church and then the Niagara Regional Police to ensure that we're creating a safe space for everyone as well. Mm -hmm. Tom, and such an important figure, uh, leading people through the Underground Railway to get back to uh, to freedom here. Um, some sad news uh, this week as well with the uh, Sandy Bellows, the the death of the uh, former city councillor. She was also. Um, the, for the chair of the Niagara Parks Board. Such a beautiful person and she was a city councillor and then currently a regional councillor and chair of the Niagara Parks Commission. She was a catalyst in getting the Canada Games Park over at the Brock University location, getting the province to support it. She was a bright light. She was so involved in the community, overcome so much, a victim of significant horrific trauma at the age of 28 turned that into a, 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 a momentum for victim rights and went to Ottawa in 2015 to sign the victim rights bill with Stephen Harper. Really just a, a force of, of positivity in our community. She is going to be missed uh, for her sons, uh, Colton and Spencer, a beautiful mom and a wonderful, wonderful community advocate. And it's uh, this is a tough time for our community. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about happier things now for your community and the, uh, the Happy Rolf Playground accessible yeah it's accessible for all and this is important because rotary st Catharines really stepped up to provide the funds so we can do a, in a, a completely accessible playground so this means that children of all mobilities can enjoy the playground and what we often forget is our playground structure structures have all, often been designed so that people kids with mobility um, issues can't necessarily explore the entire playground. This one, they can explore everything. And it's such a wonderful thing to see. And it's part of our commitment moving forward, Annette, to creating accessible spaces for everybody. And it couldn't have been done without Rotary. So this is a, yeah, a great news story for our community. A great example of Rotary work there. And finally, we've got about a minute left, but you're having a big tree giveaway this weekend. Yeah, we are. So just go to stcatharines.ca and uh, forward slash trees. 500 trees are being give, given away. It's part of our 
our, our enhancement of our tree canopy. Uh, we're at about 25% urban canopy here in the city of St. Catharines. We have a target to get up to 30, 500 trees for private properties. And this is, a, again, a great opportunity when to talk about climate change, when to talk about climate resilience. It's also about an important tree canopies here in our communities. So this is one of our ways that we're helping to enhance that and getting the public engaged. Okay, and those trees are going to need some rain, so you're going to appreciate Brian's forecast then. Walter Senzik, St. Catharines Mayor, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Annette. Take care.